Citizens will be allowed to address the board on items not on the agenda. If there's anyone who wishes to do so, uh, please come forward, identify yourself for the record, sign in, and uh, good morning. Good morning, Chair Rocker. Chair Rocker, Commissioners, my name is Kevin Square Brown. I come as a member of a citizen of St. Louis County and the constituent of the first district. At the September 14th board meeting, we witnessed a disturbing display of aggressiveness. As citizen after citizen came before the board to speak, Commissioner Fink took the opportunity not to listen or ask genuine clarifying questions, but to cross-examine, to discount, and challenge the validity of the citizens' concerns. Commissioner Fink's bias and prejudice was evident throughout. When a town supervisor shared his view that the township decision was flawed, Commissioner Fink ignored what he had to say and instead asked him to provide the opposing viewpoint. Mr. Chair. When the, citizen, Mr. Chair, when the next citizen order. noted the detriment to, to his land value and use of property as a result of the rezoning, Mr. Fink was satisfied after asking how many landowners were similarly affected. Just me, the citizen replied. The message was clear. One citizen, at least this one, meant nothing to Commissioner Fink. Maybe if he owned a chain of pharmacies or they shared lake property, but no, this guy meant nothing. The next citizen testified to his opposition was asked how far he lived from the proposed shooting preserve, as if only those citizens within a certain range merited consideration. Two miles was far enough for Commissioner Fink to discount him as well. That, despite the man leasing land and grazing cattle on three sides of the illegal shooting preserve that Commissioner Fink seems to desperately want reopened. What has been a citizen's right to be heard by this body is once again becoming a citizen's risk of being attacked. Ironically, it wasn't Commissioner Nelson, the usual bully this time. It was Commissioner Fink who used his questions to play cross-examiner. I call on Chair Rocker and the board as a whole to hold one another accountable to openness and civility when it comes to citizens speaking before you. When during a break, I pointed out his behavior to Commissioner Fink, he turned his back on me and walked away. That's no way for an elected official to treat citizens they're being paid to serve. And then, last evening, a number of District 1 constituents gathered for a scheduled debate between Commissioners Commissioner Fink and candidate Jewell. Commissioner Fink didn't show up. According to the Duluth News Tribune report this morning, when asked why he wasn't there, Commissioner Fink replied, it was nobody's business. Adding, suffice it to say it was county business. I beg to differ with the commissioner. If it was county business that kept him from being there, then certainly the citizens of the first district deserve to know what kept him from being there. Apparently, Commissioner Fink claims he notified the League of his decision to back out of the debate last Friday by email. While he refused to provide emails related to the Fish Lake fiasco, perhaps he will find it politically convenient to do so in this case, if indeed those emails exist. Regardless of the timing of his notification, one must ask, is this the kind of representation that District 1 expects? I think not. 